The invite for the Mint 400 was sent, and the next thing we know, we're on a plane flying out to Los Angeles to meet up with our buddy Wally from Method Race Wheels, of which it wasn't any more than 20 minutes from leaving the airport before we arrived at our first and awesome destination of Wilson's Motorsports Race Garage. We grabbed our camera gear and headed into the legendary shop of where the seven times Southern California Off-Road Racing Series Championship cars were built. After snapping a few shots and grabbing some video footage, we had the chance to talk to Mr. Wilson himself and some of his race team, which was pretty awesome to say the least. After just being completely awe-stricken from being at the Wilson's Motorsports shop, we then headed over to the Method Race Wheels Distribution Center. Just walking through Method Race Wheels Distribution Center was absolutely incredible. Just seeing all of the different boxes, actually they weren't really that different, but it was boxes after boxes after boxes of Method Race Wheels, which we had an entire corner of their distribution center dedicated to just all of the Method Race Wheel sales from all of you guys through Trail Build. So that was pretty awesome. Next stop, well, now it's Vegas. The first day of the Mint 400 wasn't actually a race day at all. In fact, it was an inspection day. So all the race cars, race teams, they bring their vehicles to inspection and just make sure all of the specs and everything else is on par for the races that would start the following day. This gave us an opportunity to hang out some more with Wally and go down the strip and meet all of the different race teams, meet all of the different vendors that were there, um, even had a chance to meet Haley Deegan, which was pretty awesome. But not only Haley Deegan, we got to meet Mr. King himself from King Shocks. That was pretty cool. And even had a chance to meet Blake Wilkie. But after that, we talked to the Eisenhower team. We got their backstory on how they got started into racing, which was super cool. They just started on the farm when they were younger and built trucks in the back shop and built it up to what it is today. And it was even more awesome that they ended up winning the next day. Now it was time to check out the Mint 400 races. The energy was in the air, the race fuel was just smelling awesome. So we got ourselves a pretty nice vantage point to get some good footage and videos and pictures from and ended up just hanging out, going all over the place with Wally from Method Race Wheels, checking out all of the different rigs there. They had side-by-sides, they had unlimited class trucks, they had uh, unlimited spec class trucks, which was the one that the Eisenhowers won. So it was pretty darn sweet just seeing all of these trucks and different vehicles just flying by and hitting the jumps and landing like they were landing on a cushion of air. It just, you couldn't ask for a more awesome and better experience from any other type of racing, I think, than being out in the desert watching these go fast trucks. So it was pretty cool.
So to say the least, it was just one heck of a phenomenal experience. And if you guys ever do get the chance to get down to the Mint 400 in Las Vegas, definitely take that opportunity to go check it out. And we also wanna give a huge shout out to Method Race Wheels for all the hospitality, showing us around, and a special thank you to Wally for all of his hospitality and really showing us a good time while at the Mint 400. So if you guys are looking for those Method Race Wheels, definitely Definitely make sure and check them out. You can find them right on our website at Trail Built Off Road or by clicking the link in the description below. As always, guys, we appreciate all of you for watching. I'm Josh from Trail Build, and we'll see you guys out in the trails.